Good afternoon and welcome to Tech Tuesday. Let's go ahead and jump in and take a look. Today's topic, 2D to 3D. What we're going to do is first thing I'm going to do is open up an AutoCAD drawing. Happen to have an AutoCAD drawing here. Um, all of you know all the different types of file formats we can open. Uh, when it comes to 2D, we have uh, DXF and DWG. What I'm going to do is select the DWG. Before I go ahead and open this file, what I'm going to do is go to the Options tab. When I go to the Options tab, I have the capability of previewing. And you can see all the layers associated with that 2D drawing show up. If there's a 3D embedded model, what it will do is it will write that solid body out as an SAT file, and it writes it to the same file that you open the file from. So if there happens to be a 3D embedded file in that 2D drawing, uh, you can look and it will do that for you. One of the other things I wanted to show you is you do have the capability of turning layers on and off. So I can turn off the objects, hidden dimensions. So before I even lower or open this model, I have the opportunity to look at different aspects of it. I can have it show on a black or white screen. I can zoom in or out. I can look at different aspects. The other thing you can do is we can convert polylines as simple elements, import dimensions as dimensions, blocks as groups, a lot of different aspects when you're importing 2D drawings. I can map AutoCAD model space entities to a 2D model view if I wanted to. I can tell it what size sheets I want to use, whether or not I want to use a background. AutoCAD line types, solid edge line types so that we can match our line types. We can match our colors, fonts, hatching styles. And then when we're all said and done, when we do that, we can create what we say is a new configuration file. I'm going to use the configuration file that comes with the system right out of the box, which is named seacad.ini. So what I'm going to do is hit Finish or Cancel. I'm going to go ahead and hit this AutoCAD. Now the system is going to ask me, what do I want to open it as? Well, I can't open it as a part or an assembly file because this is a 2D, and I don't want to open it as a 3D. So I have to open it up as a 2D file first. So I'm going to say anti-draft. When I open the file up, you will then see that the system automatically converts my 2D drawing. What I can do, if I want to, is I can make modifications to this 2D drawing. I can draw and make changes on the fly if I wanted to. Or I can run 2D to 3D and convert this into a 3D model, then bring it back into 2D. Let's go ahead and take a look how we would do that. You can see on the left here all my layers that have come across. I'm going to go ahead and show only my object layer. And then I'm going to go ahead and show dimensions as well, because someone took the time to dimension this. And we can convert those dimensions over in 2D as well. So you can see I have everything associated here that I'm looking for. I'm going to go to the Tools tab. And I'm going to go to Create 3D. In here, you can see that I have a lot of different things. It tells me, do I want to add to an existing file? Do I want to uh, look at what kind of template I want to use? Do I want to use a sheet metal template, a part template, depending on what kind of 2D file I'm converting? If I go to the Options tab, this will tell me, what do I want to do? I want to include these dimensions when I transfer it over into 3D. Do I want to use first or third angle projection? I'm going to use first angle projection here. Uh, third angle projection is what we used here in the United States. But this is a global metric template. And I have to use first angle projection in order to make this work accordingly. I'm going to hit Next. Now what I can do is I can specify a scale factor if I want. So I'm going to leave this at 1 for right now just for this. But if there was a scale factor associated with this, I can go in and make that change as well. So what I'm going to do is say, here's my primary view. I can look at back view, left view, right view, top view, bottom view. What I'm going to say for my front view, what I want to use is this here on the left, or on the right. I'm going to hit Next. Now what I'm going to do. is click on the other view and say set fold line. I'm going to set my fold line for the middle. And what I'm going to do is ask this view to fold right along here. I'm going to hit finish and watch what happens. It takes it 
into the 3D environment, asks me if I want to apply a material characteristic with this. And there's my model. And you can see there's all the dimensions. They're in orange because there's no 3D model associated with that. But using synchronous technology, now what I can do is very easily convert this. I'm going to pull this up. And with a matter of three clicks, I was able to convert this 2D model into 3D. And you can see what's really cool about this is I also have the ability to make changes to this once it's converted using the dimensions that we had. So I'm going to go ahead back to 43 because that's the dimension that was associated with it. When I'm all said and done, I can do a quick save. I can save this wherever I'd like. And I can go ahead and say, let's go ahead and create a drawing off this 3D model. I can run the wizard or not run the wizard. I'm going to go ahead and run the drawing view wizard. That's the view that we looked at before. I'm going to pull over this other view. Now what I can do is retrieve dimensions. If there's any dimensions associated, it will pull the dimensions in. You can see that in some cases you have to take your dimensions and make adjustments to those dimensions accordingly. And what I can do is I can continue to clean this up. If I don't like using the retrieve dimensions command, because with automated tools this happens, I can turn around and just start dimensioning this model, just like I would normally. So this ends our 2D to 3D Tech Tuesday. Check back in with us next week. As you'll see, we will post another Tech Tuesday tip Thank you very much. If there's any questions, please feel free to contact me or email me at eric at 3dcadtools.com. Thank you.